everyone. Our story for today is called Samuel Tells a Hard Truth. It's based on 1 Samuel chapters 2 and 3. Have you ever had to tell someone bad news? Were you nervous? How did you tell them? Samuel had bad news to tell the priest, Eli. Samuel, a young boy, lived in God's temple. He helped Eli, the priest. Every year, Samuel's parents, Hannah and Elkanah, came to visit him. Each year, his mother made a new robe to bring to Samuel. Samuel loved God. Eli loved God, too. But Eli's sons didn't follow God's way. They did terrible things. Although Eli loved his sons, God was angry about the things they did. In those days, the priest's sons became priests too. But because they were so bad, Eli's sons couldn't become priests. Someone had to tell Eli. That someone was Samuel, the boy who helped Eli. One night, while Samuel and Eli were asleep, Samuel heard someone call, Samuel. Samuel thought it was Eli. He got up and hurried to Eli. Samuel said, here I am. Eli said, I didn't call you, go back to sleep. Then it happened again. Samuel, Samuel. Samuel ran to Eli, here I am. Again, Eli said, I didn't call you, go back to sleep. A third time, Samuel heard his name and he went to Eli. I'm here, he said, you called me. This time Eli knew that God had called Samuel, but Samuel had never heard God call him, so he didn't know. Samuel, said Eli, listen for your name again, and when you hear it, say, yes, I am listening. Then God gave Samuel this hard message for Eli. Samuel, I am getting ready to do something that will make people's ears tingle. Eli's sons are bad. They do terrible things. They have disobeyed me. I am going to punish them. They will not be priests like their father. In the morning, Eli asked Samuel what God had said. Samuel told Eli the bad news about his sons. Eli said, God is good. God is God. And God makes the right decisions. In this story, Samuel lets his light shine for God by doing something really brave. He had to give terrible news to someone he cared about, but he knew it was important to tell the truth. Telling the truth can be a powerful tool. Let's consider how that happens in the world. In a time when news comes from many sources, everyone needs to understand the way the media organizations understand their role in telling the truth. For more thoughts to consider on this, go to the link below about honesty in journalism. But hard questions about honesty aren't just for adults in the news media. Kids face this question all the time when deciding whether to tell on someone who's broken the rules. But what is the difference between telling an adult when we need to and tattling when we don't? Well, the answer isn't always easy. Telling on someone to a trusted adult can be done out of compassion and caring. Tattling, on the other hand, is usually done to get someone in trouble. In the link below, check out the chart on the difference between telling and tattling. Then take a look at the example cards and decide with your family which events would require telling an adult you trust. Now let's close with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. See you next time.